the Eden Engineering of Tunnels. Every day, millions of people travel under mountains, cities, and oceans through structures most never think about, tunnels. They make modern life possible, but remain one of the most challenging feats of engineering ever attempted. So, how do engineers carve safe paths through earth and rock, sometimes stretching for tens of kilometers underground? Let's un uncover the edit engineering of tunnels. Why build tunnels? When the surface is crowded, steep or delicate, engineers go underneath. Tunnels make way for subways beneath cities, highways through mountains, pipelines and cables below rivers, pedestrian walkways beneath airports. They are built where bridges, roads, or detours simply won't work. The challenge beneath. Building underground isn't like building above ground. You can't see what's around you. You are dealing with unknown geology, water pressure, and limited space. One wrong calculation and a collapse could endanger lives and destroy years of work. That's why tunnel engineering begins long before digging starts with extensive surveys, simulations, and soil testing. How tunnels are built. There are several methods, each chosen based on the terrain and purpose. The first is cut and cover. Used for shallow tunnels, engineers dig a trench, build the tunnel, then cover it back with soil and roots. It's common for metro systems and underpasses. The second drill and blast. It is used in hard rock. Holes are drilled, filled with explosives, then carefully blasted to break the rock in controlled layers. The broken rock is removed and walls are reinforced with concrete and steel. The third, tunnel boring machines, TBMs. For deep, long tunnels, giant robotic machines grind through rock with rotating cutter heads. A TBM can be as long as a football field cutting, removing soil, and lining the tunnel as it moves forward. It's like a mobile underground factory. Keeping it from collapsing. Underground, pressure comes from every direction, the soil, the rock, even groundwater. To resist collapse, engineers use support systems, short crits, sprayed concrete to stabilize fresh cuts, steel ribs and rock boats to reinforce weak zones, precast concrete segments that form a permanent lining. Every meter of progress is followed by immediate reinforcement. Dealing with water. Water is the enemy of tunnels. Groundwater can leak, flood or erode the walls. That's why waterproof membranes, drainage pipes and pumps are built into every design. Some tunnels even have pressure resisting linings to withstand the crushing forces beneath rivers and oceans. Safety and ventilation. Fresh air underground is critical. Engineers design ventilation shafts to remove fumes, dust and heat. Fireproof materials, escape routes and emergency lights are all part of the hidden safety network inside every tunnel. Modern tunnels use AI-controlled ventilation systems to adjust airflow automatically during traffic or emergencies. Modern Mavis, the goat art based tunnel in Switzerland, the world's longest rail tunnel, stretches 57 kilometers through the Alps. The second, we also have the Channel Tunnel, which connects the UK and France beneath the sea, with trains running at 160 km per hour under 75 meters of rock and water. Both are testaments to how far tunnel engineering has come, from picks and shovels to precision robotics. Tunnels may be hidden from sight, but they are masterpieces of planning, 
precision and endurance. They connect nations, shorten journeys and reshape landscapes, all from beneath our feet. The next time you drive, walk or ride through a tunnel, remember the centuries of engineering innovation that made it possible. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to the channel to explore the structures that shape our world.